Kevin Knows the Rules, written by Molly David, illustrated by Carla Golembi, read by Bridget Cutterly. Kevin is a kindergarten student just like you. As I read this story, be thinking about kindergarten rules that are also used here in art class. When I ask you a question, respond by showing me a thumbs up if the answer is yes. I love school, said Kevin excitedly as he hugged his mother after his first day. Let's go home so you can tell me all about it, said Kevin's mom. I had so much fun today with my new teacher and my new friends at school, said Kevin. There is a carpet area in my classroom where the teacher will read us stories and teach us new things. This morning, we all sat on the carpet and listened to a story. The teacher says we need to sit quietly on the carpet. If we sit quietly, we can all listen and learn. We will learn so many fun new things this year, so I will always try to sit quietly. Sit quietly on the carpet so we can listen and learn. Do you have a carpet in kindergarten? If the answer is yes, show me a thumbs up. Your carpet may look like this or a little bit different. Does your kindergarten teacher read you stories? Show me a thumbs up if the answer is yes. Even if your teacher does not have a classroom carpet, they will still read you stories. So will the art teacher. We have such a nice classroom with lots of books, puzzles, and paint, said Kevin. We always clean up after ourselves so that we can keep the classroom nice and neat. If you take something out, you must put it away. This is how we show we care about our classroom. Clean up after ourselves because we care about our classroom. Show me a thumbs up if you clean up in your kindergarten classroom. Do you clean up after yourselves here in the art room? Show me a thumbs up if the answer is yes. When we walk out of the classroom together, we walk in one long line, said Kevin. There are other classes doing their work, so we must always walk quietly in the hall. Today, the teacher chose Grace to be the line leader, and we all followed her quietly, one person behind the other, down the hall. We will go to fun places like lunch, recess, art, or music. We are always quiet in line, and we always stay together. Maybe I will be line leader tomorrow. Walk quietly in the hall so we don't disturb other classes. Do you line up in your kindergarten classroom before coming to art? Show me a thumbs up if you do. Will you line up at the end of art today to go back to kindergarten? You should definitely show a thumbs up because the answer to that is yes. When you need to ask the teacher a question or tell them something, you always raise your hand, said Kevin. My new friend Lily had a question about where to put her backpack. She raised her hand and the teacher showed her where the backpacks belong. Raising your hand lets the teacher know you have something to say. Raise your hand when you want to ask the teacher a question or tell them something. Do you need to raise your hand before sharing or asking a question in your kindergarten classroom? Do you need to raise your hand in art? Show me a thumbs up if the answer is yes. When we are in our classroom, we must always use an inside voice so that we don't disturb the classes around us, said Kevin. There are lots of times we can talk to our friends at school, but we must be respectful to everyone by talking quietly. Everyone talks with an inside voice at school. Use an inside voice when we are inside. Do you use an inside voice with your kindergarten teacher? They might also call it a voice level one or two. Those voice levels are perfect for inside. You will also use an inside voice here in art. The teacher explained that we are never allowed to hit or hurt another person, said Kevin. She says we need to keep hands and feet to ourselves at school. Hitting and pushing hurt, 
and I would never want to hurt any of my new classmates. There are many other ways to handle angry or hurt feelings. I want to make a lot of new friends at school, so I will be kind to everyone. I will never hit or push. Keep hands and feet to ourselves so we don't hurt anyone. Does your kindergarten teacher have a rule about keeping hands and feet to yourselves? Show me a thumbs up if you do. We have the same rule here in art so that everyone feels safe. We need rules so we can be safe, learn a lot, and have lots of fun together, said Kevin. We will get to play on the playground, read books, paint pictures, sing songs, and make new friends. We are going to have so much fun at school if we all follow the rules. I can't wait to go back tomorrow. The end.